Hello, my name is Adam Hughes from Go Engineer, and today we're going to take a look at how we can use the combine feature to make our lives easier. <laughs> uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with a sketch because we need to add a secondary body in this uh, part file. And we'll just extrude this some distance, um, let's say uh, 1.5 inches, and click OK. Now, when we create a solid, that overlaps another solid, the default in SOLIDWORKS is to merge the two bodies together. So merge is always selected, therefore only giving us one body. The threads were consumed by the block. If we go back and edit that extrude, we can also choose to unmerge result, right? So don't merge, rather. And when we click OK, you'll now see that we have two bodies. We have the screw and we have the rectangular boss that we just created. In order for you to use the combine feature, you have to have multiple bodies. So here we can just go ahead and select our combine tool. If our combine tool is not in our command manager, we can easily search it and drag and drop it onto our command manager and use it here. Since I already have this on my command manager, I'm going to choose to drag and drop it off by holding down the alt key. So if you hold down the alt key, drag and drop off, you can eliminate that feature. Perfect. Okay, so let's take a look so if we initiate the combine tool we have three options here to add subtract and basically create a solid out of what's common between the two here we're going to try subtract where we take a body and subtract it from another body so the main body we want to keep here would be the boss that we created and the body we want to combine or subtract from the boss would be the threaded fastener so when we click OK solid or subtracts the threaded fastener from the block therefore giving us a perfect core or a perfect thread, perfect negative of the thread of our fastener. So great, perfect. The next thing we're going to take a look at is how we can use the combine feature when creating molds. There are several ways to create molds in SOLIDWORKS, one of them being the combine feature. So just like we did before, we're going to start by creating a boss and choose to not merge the solids. And we'll extrude that in both directions. I think 20 should work. We'll choose to unmerge and just verify that our part's consumed. Yep. Perfect. And one other thing we might want to do is suppress some of these post processing features. So let's take a look. Now that the post processing, it's just a forge component. So let's go ahead and use the combine tool once more. What's the main body? The core and cavity, essentially, the body to combine. It's going to be the ratchet. And now we have a perfect cavity of our part that we want to mold. But we still haven't split the two cores into the core and the cavity, right? So let's take a look at how we can do that. We can just simply right click and create a sketch. Granted, this is easier than, than most molds, uh, but the concept is here. Create a surface, extrude surface. Let's make sure it goes through the entire model. And now we can choose to cut with surface. If we flip the direction, we will get the core. And we can save this as core, ratchet core. And we come back to this part and just edit this feature, reverse the direction. And now we can say this is ratchet cavity. So you have both core and cavity files saved. This is Adam Hughes from Go Engineer. Thanks for watching.